don't forget to subscribe! Wins the power of a CPU. Access. I'll show you the power of a CPU. My transformation is complete. I am Greenheart. What follows is a brief construction montage. Look, Abe, I know you aren't well, but please don't make any more harsh comments like that, especially to SSB and Anime Crossover. You might have to take a break from online activities, all right? I want to live! Take me with you! Take me away from here! 
We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. Well done! Make sure to keep training! Good! Wow! A few moments later. By sheer coincidence. Hey everyone, before we continue on with this episode, let me give you a sneak peek of the upcoming Tekken Tag Tournament 3 video. The only thing that you're about to listen is the introduction of my team, Pikachu, Nintendo, Xbox, PlayStation features, and how Snoop Dogg will work for Bandai Namco once again to have this track, Knock Em Down, played in the new song. So, please enjoy this clip. Ladies? Ah, spoiler alert! Would you like to view it at your own risk or skip ahead? Like the previous version, Tekken Tag Tournament 2, both the PS4 and the Xbox versions of Tekken Tag Tournament 2 or 3 support stereoscopic 3 of the effects of which could be customized, and the new feature called Tekken Tunes will allow players to swap music around the game and import their own music, and there is going to be an online service called World Tekken Federation, which allows players to keep track of their overall stats and even which moves they add use in a match, and players will be able to create teams, compete in online competitions, and discuss game-related topics, and a real-time World Live leaderboard will also be included. The Nintendo Switch version will have exclusive content, and it will have a game mode that uses power-ups from the Super Mario series, such as Mega Mushrooms and Poison Mushrooms and the return of the minigame Tekken Ball from Tekken 3, an optional touch-based control scheme, and character costumes based on the Nintendo series, including Super Mario, Metroid, Star Fox, F-Zero, and The Legend of Zelda. It's actually going to be kind of fun, though, too. And speaking of the music, Snoop Dogg actually recorded a track for Tekken Tekken Tournament 2, titled Knock Him Down. And when asked about the collaboration, Katsuhiro Harada said the Tekken team have always tried to implement different genres and music throughout the series, but one thing that we've never done was hop or hip, or hip hop or rap. And the game also had a Snoop Dogg themed stage in which the rapper made a cameo. We hope that it Knock Him Down will also be featured in Tekken Tag Tournament 3. <laughs> we thank you for your pay regularly scheduled program. Sorry we're late, everyone. Did you two have sex? No, we did not. Let's hope all of this comes to fruition. I think the tag tournament comes before the next Tekken installment. Thank you, Bernie Croc. <laughs> anyway, the gap between Tekken games takes about five or so years. Take a look at Tekken Tag Tournament 4 and 7. That took five years of work of development for Katsuhiro Haruda, Michael Murray, and the staff of Bandai Namco Entertainment. That really must have been exhausting. That's right, Romeo and Ken. Once Season 4 is complete, we will get a Tag Tournament 3 announcement as a teaser before Tekken 8, as Tag 3 will be the 10th installment and 8 will be the 11th. Sakurai is still working on the second season downloadable content. I mean, the man needs a break in 2022, as Ultimate is the final Super Smash Bros. game in the series, because there won't be another Smash game after this, because Ultimate is the sixth installment, and if you count the Wii U and Nintendo 3DS games, it's been eight years, and the man has been working hard. <gasps> DK, don't be sad! He does care for his son, Kirby! Yeah, Toad. Like we said in the previous video, Heihachi won't be playable in the next Tekken game game show. Due to intro issues with his passing, you remember when so Kia sacrificed her life to save her daughter in Soul Calibur 4? She wasn't playable in the next game, although she was mentioned to attend as a flashback, since the next Tekken game could feature that. So everyone must press F to pay respect on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. There is a 100% chance that Bandai Namco is going to do the same thing. How the Walt Disney Company and Marvel Studios did with Tekken Bozeman for Black Panther 2. Hey, hey! Even though Mr. Ishizuka's family requested Band of Namco Entertainment not to recast him out of respect. Let's not forget that Viacom CBS and Nickelodeon actually honored Steven Miller last year with the SpongeBob SquarePants birthday bash in July and Sponge on the Run, which is coming up in 2021, if you notice the text for Steve. I'm shedding this feeling away. <laughs> you can do a lot better than that. We know, Elliot. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, hey. Could Bandai Namco actually bring back Snoop Dogg? What? 
You mean the rapper who just did Cousin It? Well, yes. I mean, bad. I mean, they collaborated back in 2012. They might have to get permission from his agent to actually record a new song. You know what? I really think it doesn't even look too hard. The entire Tekken community will see the video when we work on it. You know what, Greenheart? I think you're up to something. That's right, Hero. The Soul Calibur and Tekken timelines are connected to each other like Crash Bandicoot and Spyro the Dragon. Soul Calibur takes place in the 16th and 17th century of Europe, while Tekken takes place in the 20th century like the 90s after Jim was born in 1983, and Tekken 5 through 7 takes place in 2005, while 4 takes place in 2004 on Christmas Day thanks to the PS2 manual. And let's not forget that Heihachi was born in 1929, a year after Mickey Mouse was born, and he died in 2005. Kimi understands why she likes theories like this, and Kimi and everyone is going to do their best, and she wants to help the video as well. So, old Chaco, are you gonna help me and Kimi and everybody else too? Let's go! Whoops! <laughs> Bring it! Hey, hey! Are we done? Yay! Good job! Me, my buddies, and everyone at Team Pikachu Studios and the Life Lights are preparing a big Tekken video for Saturday. Rudolph Yoshi is enjoying Christmas music with Santa Mario. Well, people, what do you think? If you really appreciate the videos, please be sure to hit the smash that like button, and be sure to subscribe to this channel, and be sure to hit the bell icon so you'll never ever miss a video the second it goes live. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and DeviantArt, and comment below and give us honest thoughts and opinions. We here at Team Pikachu Studios and the Life Lights do not want any trolls allowed, or otherwise, Red Hulk from Comedy Central's The Women's TV Show will hunt you down until the ends of Antarctica. Be sure you share this video with your friends, and thank you all for watching us, the Life Lights from Team Pikachu Studios, and we will see you all on the flip side. Have a nice day!